Alright, Shalom. Nashurallah, first and foremost, I want to begin by giving all the praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakhakudash. Okay, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of their millstone, and uh, peace and mercy, salutations, and love unto you, Akim, that are doing the work of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, in sincerity and in truth. Alright, now you know, today is another day, you know, to come out here and do the work of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And so I want to begin by, uh, you know, calling out the tribes. You know, Judah is a so-called Negroes, man. Okay. Um, Benjamin is a so-called West Indians. Levi is a so-called Haitians. Simeon is a so-called Dominicans. Zebulon is a so-called Guatemalans to Panama. Okay. Ephraim, so-called Negroes. I mean, uh, so-called Puerto Ricans, Salakia. Uh, Manasseh is a so-called Cubans. Okay, Gad, the so-called North American Indians, Reuben, the Seminole Indians, uh, Natali, the Argentinian to Chileans, Ashar is the so-called Colombian to Uruguay, and Issachar is the so-called Mexicans, man. Okay, these are the children of Israel, man. Okay, um, these are the people whom the world uh, likes to uh, look down upon, okay, because uh, of the state that we're in, man. Okay, but it's not just uh, because it's uh, man's will, but it, it was the will of Yahab Bashim Shai, you know, to put us in the condition that we're in, man, okay? This, uh, you know, um, last night I was talking to my woman, you know, and she doesn't know the truth, and so she was pretty much like, she was like, you know what I don't understand? The hate that the world has for uh, so-called black people, okay? And I went and I explained to her the reason why this world is looking down upon us, first and foremost, is because of the curses, man. Okay, the Lord Yahabah Shimon Shai actually is dealing with the heathen nations to put us um, in the captivity and in the punishment that we're in, man. Okay, so the first scripture that I want to bring up is, is in the book of Jeremiah, okay. Um, Salatia, one second. The book of Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 5 okay it says for who shall have pity upon thee O Jerusalem or who shall bemoan thee or who shall go aside to ask how thou doest okay and this scripture here proves what that these heathen nations these other different uh, people within the world okay they don't give a shit about us man okay because of this uh, condition that we're in but not only because of that, like I said, in the book of Deuteronomy, okay, the Lord Yahab Bashim Shai spoke about uh, pretty much that if we did not keep his commandments, you know, that all of these curses were going to fall upon us, man. Okay, and you know, uh, some of those curses were pretty much how that these different nations were going to look down upon us, man. They're going to talk shit, they're going to hiss. And they're gonna whack their head at us, okay? They're gonna pretty much uh, call us by all the different types of, uh, uh, I'm a, you know, I'm a by names, okay? Or I'm a by words, okay? Uh, black, okay? Uh, monkeys, etc., etc., man, okay? And the scripture Yahab Ashimosha said that if we did not keep his commandments, that, you know, I'm a, these were the things that were gonna happen to our people, man. Okay, and it goes on and it says, it says, Thou hast forsaken me, saith the Lord, thou art gone backward. Therefore, I will stretch up my, my hand against thee and destroy thee. I am weary with repenting, man. Okay, so the reason why we're in the condition that we're in is ultimately because we went against the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, we turned our back, okay, against Him. Okay, countless of times, Yahabah Shunel Shai. He delivered us from our captivity, man. Okay, when we were under the Egyptians, when we were under all of these different nations, man. Okay, at one time. Okay, and right now we're under the so-called white man. But prior to that, okay, we were pretty much just in slavery all the fucking time, man. And we would cry unto the Lord Yahab Bashim al Shai, as spoken in the book of Judges. When you read the book of Judges, okay, we would cry unto the Lord, okay, over and over and over, and He would deliver us, man. Okay, but when it came to a time when the Lord wanted just one thing from us, okay, we rejected him and he got pissed off, man. 
and he said what I will take my name away okay and so when the Lord Yahweh took his name away from us okay and that's in this captivity where we didn't know the name of the Lord at one time okay as a whole as a people okay that's pretty much the worst of the worst man this captivity that we're in but we're at the very end of it and Yahaba Shino Shai he uh, spoke of his name again unto his elect men okay and he woke them up and now they're out there in the house in the virus doing the work okay and bringing forth the name of Yahaba Shino Shai man the name was never lost okay the name of Yahaba Shino Shai had always been in the earth man okay and so it goes on and it says and I will fan them with a fan in the gates of the land. I will bereave them of children. I will destroy my people since they return not from their ways, man. Okay? And that's the point, man. Because our people do not want to return unto Yahab Bashim from their wicked ways, this is the type of condition that we're in today, man. That's the whole reason, man. Where what? Our women, okay, are out of order. Our men are out of order. Okay, our children are disobedient, okay? All of these different types of things are happening to us because of the curses, man. Okay, there's no any other explanation. When you look at these other different nations, okay, although their women are not, you know, righteous or, you know, at all, right? Their women are wicked as hell, but not compared to the women of the children of Israel, man. Okay, um, one of the Atman spoke about how that if you want to see a nation being destroyed or if you want to see um, a destroyed nation look at their woman man okay look at their woman okay and when you look at the so-called uh, black woman which is what the head tribe Judah she's way out of order man okay and that right there is a great explanation to how our nation is doing man okay because guess what we represent us as a people we are a representation of the most high's woman man okay and so because we went off and we committed adultery against the lord yahweh guess what our women are doing the exact same thing today man okay you won't meet a woman you know you might have one or two or you might know of one or two but majority of the so-called israelite women today have been with how many men so, you know, how many men, you know, have they been with? Okay, that's what the scripture talk about, how that this is an adulterous generation, man. Okay, this place is all fucked up, man. Okay, but that all goes back to the curses, man. So I'm going to bring that out. This is in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1, it says, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Okay? So, if we listened to the voice of the Lord Yahweh by King Masha, our power, right? This is what's going to happen. To observe and to do all his commandment which I command you this day, that the Lord thy God would set thee on high above all nation of the earth, man. Okay? So if we listen to Yahab Hashim Shai, he was going to set us up above all the nations of the earth. Okay? And when you read down from verse 1 all the way down to verse 15, it gives you about all of the blessings, man. Now verse 15 is a point. Okay? It says, But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments and, stat and his statutes which I commanded this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee man 
okay? So, all of the curses that you see happening within our people is recorded in the scriptures, man. Right? Okay? Not sure. It's recorded in the scriptures right here. And it says, Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field, man. Wherever, wherever our people go, okay, we're cursed, man. Okay? We're cursed. You know, people um, are always looking down at us, man. Okay? And it says, Curse shall be, curse shall be at thy basket and thy store. That's right, man, because when you look at our people, okay, as a whole, okay, we've been in America forever, man. Okay, but how many businesses do you see that's flourishing? Okay, that were created by Jake, man. Okay, or that um, Esau allows to, you know, I'm gonna continue to uh, pretty much uh, run, man. Okay, but you have uh, different nations, okay, and they don't even speak no English, but when they come over, okay, and they open their businesses, okay, Esau will allow them, you know, to flourish, man. Okay. And it says, curse, it says, curse shall be the food of thy body and the food of thy land, the increase of thy, of, of thy kind and the flock of thy sheep, man. So whatever we do, okay, Esau does not allow to flourish. Esau does not allow it to grow, man. For example, um, uh, what's it called? Um, it's skipping my mind, man. Uh, for example, you know, I'm a black Wall Street man, you know, that shit was, you know, it was, you know, I'm a take him down in a heartbeat, man, okay, because Esau does not want to see Jake actually um, implement his own rules, implement his own government, okay, he doesn't want to see that, okay, and it says, I'm going to skip down. It says, verse 41, Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity, man. Okay? And this happened in slavery. And even now that we're still in slavery, you see our children, okay, being shot down, you know, by the cops. You see the, um, you see the type of hatred, okay, that these people have towards us, man. Okay, they have no mercy upon us, man. And when I'm talking about these people, I'm talking about your local police officers, man. Okay? Jake will not be at peace on the road, man. You know, just going for a good drive. Okay? The moment, the moment they see a cop behind them, okay, their life is in doubt now, man. Because you have no idea if they're going to pull the trigger or not, man. Okay? So, we might have children. And we do have a lot of children, but we don't even enjoy them, man. Okay? As in actually see them grow up to become something in this world, man. Okay? Because of the curses. And it says, verse 43, The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. And that's the point. You know, and I also um, explained that with the businesses, is different the nations who come across okay to the americas or canada okay they're able to flourish man they get above us very high in a short time too okay and it says the stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high and thou shalt come down very low man so we are at the bottom but the scripture talk about you know how um if you are last you shall be first and if you are first you shall be last man in the book of matthews Okay. And it says, He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. That's right, man, because we go to our enemy for everything. Okay, if we need loans, <laughs> you know, if we need a vehicle, you know, you gotta pretty much, you know, um, you sign a lease for it. Okay, if, if you want a place to rent, to live in, okay, the land is, you know, it, 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 like, it, the land itself doesn't even belong to you according to Esau it's his okay so you might buy a house but if Esau wants to do something uh, within that area okay he will get you to move out man okay gentrification okay 
and so even though you might have a possession so called okay it doesn't belong to you under Esau's uh, uh, rules man and laws and it says he shall lend to thee and thou shall not lend to him he shall be be the head and thou shall be the tail the tail man okay the people to that it's in the book of Matthew 19 verse 30 Matthew chapter 19 verse 30 but many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first man okay that's the scripture you know that I quoted man okay so many that shall be first they're going to be last and them that are last shall be first and that's gonna happen very soon here and as you see with the whole COVID-19 pandemic you know so-called going around okay Esau is preparing okay to move forward with his rulership but this is gonna be the end of it man okay it's not going to uh, complete Yahweh is gonna send his elect men okay beginning with Yahweh to rule over this world man okay and the children of Israel are going to be joined heirs together with the Hawashah man okay and so that is when we will become the first again man because right now we're last okay and it says moreover all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee okay so these curses are pursuing us man wherever our people go these curses follow us okay it follows us every single where man okay you might be an Israelite but look like the different heathen nations but guess what these curses are still gonna follow you man it does not matter about what you know um, about about what you look like okay and it says moreover all these curses shall come upon thee and shall t pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power man okay so Yahweh Bashim and Shah say what because we didn't listen to him now this is the perfect scripture a perfect scripture to explain to someone that does not know about why our people are the way they are man okay why this different nation look down at us why these different nations gonna take a piss at us man Okay, and it says, Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord, thy power to keep his commandment of the statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign, for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever, man. So this, these curses are a sign to who we are. Okay, and these curses do not fit anybody but the children of Israel and that's something that a lot of people don't understand because when they talk about oh you know how do you know that uh, Judah is a so-called Negroes or how do you know that uh, Issachar is a so-called Mexicans you know how can you um, uh, link those two up you know because of the curses of the scriptures that's how we know man because the curses of the scriptures does not fit anybody else but us and the major major sign that happened to us is in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68 it says and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships man. okay so the Lord said he was going to bring us into Egypt again with ships Egypt okay means what bondage slavery okay so the Lord was gonna bring us again into slavery because at one time we were in Egypt man okay we serve we were servants under the Egyptians and Yahweh Bashima Shah delivered us out of Egypt by Moses man using Moses and Aaron you know to pretty much uh, deliver our people out of bondage and our people were murmuring and talking shit against the Lord while they were getting delivered man that goes to show you the state of mind of our people and why the Lord Yahweh is justified of whooping our peoples behind. Every single punishment that happened to our people, they deserved 100% of that, man. Okay? Yahweh is just. And whatever he did to our people is 
because our people deserved it, man. Okay? And it says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way thereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, man. Okay? So he said what? That we weren't going to see our homeland again. As in, we weren't going to claim and dwell in the land of Jerusalem, man. Okay? And it says, and there ye shall be sold to your enemies. So we have enemies, man. We were sold unto our enemies. Okay, the so-called white men. You know? And that's what we heard in the history books. Anybody knows that, man. But now Esau is trying to uh, come up with a way to pretty much um, discredit what happened uh, to the Negroes in America, man, in the time of slavery. He's trying to rid of the uh, slavery and the horrific acts, you know, that had happened to our people, man. Okay? Now he's putting in the history book and teaching children that we came into America because of our own will. You know? So that's what he's doing. Because he understands the judgment for what he did. Now he just wants to do away with it, man. Okay? It's good to talk about how that the knowledge of the wicked is not knowledge, man, or the wisdom of the wicked is not wisdom in the Apocrypha, man. So these school systems, okay, whatever they teach you is all bullshit, man. They're all mixed with a bunch of lies, man. And if it's not 100% pure, it's not 100% truth, man. And it says, By the way thereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold to your enemies, for bond man and bond woman, slave man and slave woman. Okay, who who did that happen to? Who was this recorded to, man? Okay. This was not recorded to nobody but the children of Israel. Nobody in this planet, in this world, went into slavery by the way of ships. Okay? But the children of Israel. And it says Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold to your enemies for bond man, slave man, and bond woman, slave woman, and no man shall buy you, man. Okay, as in no one is gonna come and save your ass. Okay, we had to go through that. Okay, and so when we speak about the so called white man also going into slavery, because the scripture talk about that he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Okay, and he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Okay, when we speak about those things, okay, they don't consider what they did to us. You know, they only talk about, you know, uh, what we're gonna do unto them, man. And so, our children went into slavery. You know, they didn't choose that. You know, but you put their ass in slavery. So guess what? The same thing's gonna happen, man. Okay, what goes around comes around. So talk about how we're going to go to slavery with our enemies, okay? The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, going back to verse, verse 47, it says, Because thou servest not the Lord thy power with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things man okay so because you will not want to the Lord Yahab Hashim Ashai okay um willingly okay he said that what we were gonna be at the bottom and we're gonna serve this heathen nations in hunger and in thirst and in want of all things man okay every single thing that you see it all goes back to Esau in this world right now, man. It goes back to the ruling elite families, man. Okay? Now, you might have a Jake, you know, that might be rich here and there. Okay? But that's nothing compared to what the elites have. Because the elites are the ones who actually have the fatness of the earth, man. And that's one of the blessings that was given to Esau, man. That in this time, he's going to have what? The sword and the fatness of the earth, man. So even though you might have a Jake that's wealthy in this world, it don't mean shit. 
you know, compared to what Esau has. That's not wealth, man. Okay? That's not wealth. And so, he says in want of all things, man. That's how we're going to serve our enemy. And that's what exactly what you see happening today. You need a car, you better go get that fucking lease, man, from Esau. Okay? You need food, you need gas, you need anything. You need clothes, you need a roof over your head. Okay? You better go to Esau. Okay, one way or, or one way or another, it all trickles down to Esau is the one that um, actually, uh, according to his laws, because he's the one that was, that's ruling the world right now, that he owns it. It's his. But in actuality, the scripture talk about that the world was made for our sakes. Let me get that. is the book of second Ezra chapter 6 verse 54 and after these Adam also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures right so we all come from Adam of him come we all and the people also whom thou hast chosen so it goes to show your separation although we all come from Adam and the people whom thou hast chosen so within the children that Adam had, there was a specific group of people that the Lord chose, and that's the children of Israel, man. Okay? And it says, All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. So the world was made for our sakes. Okay? As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle. So these heathen nations are nothing, man. Okay, let me see if the camera's still on. Con. So these heathen nations are nothing unto the Lord Yahabashimah. But the Lord is using them as a whooping stick. It's in the book of uh, Psalms. Okay, bear with me, I gotta find the scripture. the book of Psalms chapter 17 verse 13 arise O Lord disappoint him cast him down deliver my soul from the wicked which is thy sword so the Lord Yahweh said that what that these other heathen nations are nothing but be like unto spittle and that what he said that um, uh, uh, this is what uh, you know um, King David said arise O Lord disappoint him Cast him down, deliver my soul from the uh, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is that sword, man. So Yahabashi no Shai is only using them to punish us, man. Okay? He says, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, Yahweh Bashina Hoshai, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people which also come with Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Man. Okay? So, if you had a bucket full of water, you're carrying it on your head, okay? And you're going to your destination, right? And just a tiny bit drops on the ground as you're walking. Do you put your bucket down to worry about that drop that just fell? No, you don't, man. You keep on walking. Why? Because it don't mean shit. Okay? It's just a drop. Okay? Or like if you're walking in a park and you spit, do you go back, you know, to actually uh, care for the spit that you just uh, spat? 
No, you don't, man, because it's a spit. It's like a spittle. You don't give a shit about it. You just keep on moving, man. Okay, you want to get rid of it. Okay? That's what these other heathen nations are like unto the Lord Yahabashi Rajah, man. Okay? As much as people like to talk about how the Lord just loves and that's it, man. That's not so. Okay? And it says, verse 57, And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us, man. Okay? So these heathen nations, although they're nothing, they have begun to be over us. Why? Why did they uh, begun to be over us? It's because the Lord Yahab Ashim Ashai actually gave them the power to rule over us, man. And so when you see these heathen nations look down at us, etc., etc., okay, it's actually of the Lord's will because we disobeyed Him. You know, and I always use the example of a father or a mother that actually loves their child and when that child does something against their parents rule okay the first instant for those parents okay is to discipline that child that's the right thing to do okay you want your child to grow up to be a representation of who you are as a father or a mother man okay you want to teach them the right steps the right way and so when they do something wrong you correct them okay it's not gonna be sweet all the goddamn time majority of the time it's rough man because you want them to understand so that they don't commit the same acts again man so guess what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is our father man and we are his children and so when we go off he disciplines us man and his way was what putting us down okay slavery etc etc everything that happened to our people is the lord's will and that's how he is disciplining us so that we may be able to understand okay what's righteous and what isn't what he wants us to do and what he doesn't want us to do man. okay the lord is justified in all his actions man okay some people might not understand but it's the truth Okay. And it says, verse 58, But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. If the world not be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure, man? Okay, only for a short time, because Yahabah Shimei is beginning to build, or he had 